everyone. Welcome to the Ragtime Design Studio. This is Rachel Johnson. Here I am. Sorry, I still haven't mastered the camera. I had to literally walk around and turn it on. Um, this video is for my local customers that... How do we put this? I want to keep their social distancing right now. So once we're allowed to uh, meet back together for classes, these videos will drastically change. So for now, this is just for my local customers that picked up a class kit and want to work through it. So, hi everyone! Alright, this video is titled, Chick in a Box. So here's our chick in a... chicken and egg, that's what it is. Chick in an egg box. Um, the egg is from the dinosaur collection. There's a die in there to cut a dinosaur egg, but it's perfect for putting our chicken. So, I will show you how to get started with that. In your kit are two egg halves. Okay, and there's also a piece. It's white, and it has lines on it like this. This is about what we're going to do. Um, if you're looking at my chick egg box, I went and followed the entire curve of the egg and I had to put a foot on it because it kept wanting to rock and roll. So I have improvised and you have the better version in your box. Alright, I'm going to leave a little chick box right there. So if you want to repeat the process, I cut a 2 and 3 fourths by 5 inch piece. I took some fun, I cannot think today, pinking shears. I cut the, oh wait, I cut that afterwards. This is just like class, I can't keep my brain straight. So, let me hold up the template again. We're going to make it look like this. So I'm going to come in two inches, come in two inches, and make this one inch area. Uh, that'll be the flat bottom part. Um, and I've already pre-cut yours so that you know that area is supposed to stay flat. And then about every quarter of an inch you're going to put a slit. So it's going to look like this. Have slits. So here goes. I'll show you how to score it. Sorry, I cannot get the camera any shorter, gals. I'll pick it up for you. So I will score this a half an inch in. And then another half an inch in. And then over two inches and come in two inches. So I've done it. You probably can't see that. But I'm going to cut it every quarter of an inch. This makes it flexible so it can follow the curve of the egg. side and I would um, just sit and watch this video all the way through once first and then get the stuff out in front of you and work through it and maybe hit pause a few times um, you're doing this on your own so you can totally do it however you need to I did not cut the pinking shears on your little boxes I apologize It could be left flat as well, or you could use any pair of scissors you got. All right, so now I'm going to fold these in. Okay, so now this can be flexible. All right, I think the easiest way to do this is to take your egg halves and put tape around the curved edge. There's one. Get the other one ready. You know, if you guys want to stamp some polka dots or something on these eggs, you certainly could. Or cut them out of a funner paper. That would be even more fun. So uh, now I've put tape. I'm going to start with this center area. And put it right to the fold. If you go past the fold, your box will be rounded again and it will roll around. So I'm putting it right to the base of the fold. And then on this side you can see, 
I'm even going to do it where you guys can see. Stick it, stick that one, bend it, stick that one. Just keep working along and press them into your glue. Liquid glue might get really messy. I would use a tape runner here. Okay, there's that side. Same thing on this side. Put the first one in, and they kind of just want to follow right along the egg. Okay, and if it's too tall, you can just trim that down as you go. Well, you got all the time in the world. I suppose you could cut your own zigzag edge by hand. Pause for laughter. If it's not here, I miss you guys. All right, so there's one side, and then you just do the other side, okay? And then I already stamped your chick, and you want to fussy cut your chick out. I also stamped the sign. You want to separate the two parts of the phrase, take the rest of your stick, fold it in half and make it thicker, and that's your stick, and put your sign on your stick. And then the chick, just kind of fussy cut them out, and then... I'm going to yank this out. You might not have much paper, so I give you a stick as well to stick to your chick. And you just bend his little, bend the little, make a little foot and put some glue on it. And then you can stick it in the bottom of your box. And voila! Now, when you put your ribbon on, uh, it wants to defy gravity and just fall off. So tape it in the back. Set your box down and tie a bow as best you can. And you can see mine is still wanting to fall down. So you'll just want to put a little glue dot or some liquid glue. And then fill it with the green grass and some jelly beans and whatever. And voila! You've got a chick in an egg box. Thanks for joining us. Now I'm going to walk awkwardly around and turn the camera off.